nice and early, so it's seven o'clock, and I have come out for a morning run. I haven't been out early in uh, Malacca yet. I always love getting up early, coming out, seeing places before everyone else is awake, and I wanted to get out earlier than this really, but I just haven't been able to wake up early recently. Sort of like the last, ever since so kind of we finished in Chiang Mai, I was getting up at like between six and half past six in Chiang Mai, and I think maybe that's just knocked me a little bit, and I don't know, maybe I just wasn't getting enough sleep for a few weeks. And ever since we've left, I've been sleeping in till like nine o'clock-ish, which isn't like me at all. I'm just wandering down to the centre. Have a little look around. Take some photos before all the tourists and everyone get there. There won't be any people around, but there's loads of cars around at like 10 past seven. This is why it was worth getting up early. Every time I've seen this square, I think it's called the Dutch Square, these are all Dutch buildings. Every time I've seen it before, it's just been rammed full of people and um, tuk-tuks playing loud music and everything. This is so much nicer coming here at this time. There is literally no one else here apart from that man watering the flowers. Every time I get up early and come out, I regret that I don't do it every single day. I just love it at this time before people come out. There's something really, really special about being up and out before everybody else. I just love it. And also, can I just say how much I absolutely adore Malaysian people. They are all so friendly. Quite a few people that I've spoken to actually on my travels. I didn't really like Malaysia or kind of had not, I mean, yeah, like negative things to say about the country and the people and everything and oh my goodness my experience is completely the opposite and they're all so so friendly and speak to you and say good morning and hello and ask you where you're from and not in the way that people do in like other countries because they're trying to sell you something just because they're being friendly and they're saying hello and i just love it i really really love malaysia and i'm really looking forward to exploring it more loads of you have been commenting actually different places to go and visit and I'm really appreciative of that thank you so much and I like, gradually get in this huge huge long list and people are saying about going over to Borneo if you don't know Malaysia is two separate parts of Peninsula Malaysia which we are in and then there's the part that is over on Borneo with Indonesia and for the moment we're just doing Peninsula I'm not going to get to see as much as I wanted this time I just haven't got the time I don't think but I'm sure we'll be back to Peninsula Malaysia and we're definitely going to head over to um Borneo Malaysia at some point. I think possibly we stumbled across Chinatown. It looks very Chinatown-esque, doesn't it? Look at that building. Okay, tell me that just wandering around a place isn't just the best thing to do. Look what I've stumbled across. This cool street art. Down this little street. Look at this one. I love this. Not such a fan of that one. That's not nice. Oh, look at this one. Oh, That's cute. It kind of reminds me of um, Georgetown. It's very Georgetown-esque. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at that little cat. Is that just sat there? Stephen would like it. Stephen should come out early in the morning. Maybe that's how I can get him to come out by telling him there's loads of cats around. They're so, so beautiful, these paintings. Look at the detail on that woman's. Wow. What are they called, actually? Like head scarf. Excuse my ignorance. I don't know what they're called. Wow, they're amazing. I'm gonna run 
back now. See if Stephen's awake, I'm sure he won't be. Look, it's now quarter to eight and it's started. People have started to arrive. You've got to get up early. We're heading back over to the area, I think, was it yesterday we were there, Stephen? Yeah. yeah. The area yesterday where we were, where there's um, like St Paul's Hill and like, there's loads of museums and things. We're going over there for a little while. It's still so hot. It's like half past four. It's crazy warm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this whole kind of area is actually called Banda Hille. I put that on our list as somewhere that I want to go and see. And I think, I think that's what this area is all called. When have you ever seen three green cars all parked next to each other? I bet you haven't. No, Check out this plane. It's such a nice little area this. There's so much to kind of see and stuff. Let's go and have a little look over here. What's this all about? I think this is like an old train. I'm just making this up. I'm just going to make this an old train station. But I've no clue really. Completely just making facts up to tell you. Oh, the train is uh, like a little museum. Should we go in, Stephen? Stephen, should we go inside the train? They tricked us. It's not a museum. It's a shop. Ah. Back by the Afamosa, the Puerto de Santiago. Watch yesterday's vlog if you would like to know more about that. We went and like had a little look around there yesterday. There's a pirate adventure thing. Malacca Alive. I have no idea what it is. It's like a show or something. It looks like it's a show look. It's like a boat there. No clue. Are you boiling? Yeah. This building is pretty impressive. map so that building is the proclamation of independence memorial maybe we'll just kind of like wander around this area it's just quite a good map actually i might take a picture of it on my phone it's got all like the things that people might want to go to see i want to go up there to oh my sunglasses falling off my head uh to campung morton the centre research it's supposed to be like a really nice it's kind of like a museum, but it's kind of like a real life village of like proper melee life. We went up there on our river cruise actually. Maybe one day before we leave, we managed to get up there. Oh yeah, I'm going to take a picture of this map. <laughs> Stephen's like, any bit of shade getting in it. We'll just wander around this little bit, Stephen, and then we'll go and grab something to eat, yeah? That's good, this sign for the tuk-tuks. It's like a set rate or tri trishaw, trishaw rental they're called it's 40 ringgits for an hour i look they can if you want to make a complaint against them only license that's good oh look at these actually showed you them yesterday did you oh yeah i think i remember you showing me them we didn't come and look at them though did we see this car we're heading into a mall to cool off it's got to be done this fountain in the middle of the mall. Pretty special. We may go down there and get something to eat. We've eaten and we've decided that we're going to... Yeah. Oh my just got the most expensive ice cream in the world. I didn't realise it was quite expensive. I bought him one yesterday as well. I, I say the most expensive, but it was like four quid or something. Which is quite a lot when you're on a budget. Um, we have decided, I don't have to get out of this car park. This way I think, Stephen. We've decided can we get out that way? Let's try. We are going to um, go and see the 7 o'clock showing of Despicable Me 3 at the cinema. So we're just going to kind of wander over there now because it's almost 7. We got our tickets. That was 22 ringgits for one adult, one child, which is like... 22. Yeah, that's what I said, 22. It's like... Uh... 22. That's what I said. I definitely said that. So what is 20 is like, four, it's about four pound, isn't it? Yeah, we've already, yeah. We're going into the cinema, like we've been in the different. cinema for so long and then we're going like two in, twice in three days or something. I'm looking forward to this now. Upstairs, turn left. Oh, so you wanted to, no, you wanted to turn off. This time, 
I bought something to um, keep me warm because we were so cold in the cinema last time, weren't we? It was freezing, so we bought, um, I bought a little shawl really thing. Right, we're um, B, B3 and B4. Oh, gate. <laughs> we're not in the airport. Yeah. 10. Screen. <laughs> this is 6 to 10. Okay, thank you. Oh, these seats are actually very nice, aren't they? You don't think you get more leg room at the back, do you? Oh my god, yes. If no one sits there, we could go there. We've been told Dawn, that was good, wasn't it? Glad we went to see it. I love this book, wasn't it? Right, I think we're going to head home now. It's like 9 o'clock, it's like that. Stephen is expecting a phone call off his uh, grandma. She phoned yesterday, or actually, grand, your granddad phoned yesterday, was it? Or, yes. Yeah, but they said they were going to phone back today because um, they're going to be with his sister. He's got like a little sister. Got like a little sister. He's got a little sister on his dad's side. Flash. Um, yeah, so I think they're going to be with her today. That's so cool. It's a bit home back. Yeah, that is cool actually. Flash. Uh, yeah, so they're going to be with her. So. Where are the first to go? Exit to the Yeah, so they're going to phone back, you know. It's a weird exit. That is an early weird exit. It's <laughs> back to the It's crazy, after you've been inside a mall for a couple of hours and then you come out, the heat just like smacks you in the face. It's still crazy warm at nine o'clock. It's nice though, I like this type of warm. Nighttime warm. We need to pop, yeah. I think I'm probably just going to end it here because we're just going to walk home and organise ourselves for tomorrow. We're going to go to Afamosa Water Park tomorrow. It's about an hour drive away. There's no kind of bus or anything from what I can gather. Well, there is a bus, but it's like from what I've found online, it takes forever to get to it. So I think we're just going to get an Uber to the water park. Stephen's request wants to go to the water park, so we're going to go tomorrow. I need to remember sun cream because oh my goodness we will burn all our lasses off if we don't have sun cream in this weather at a water park all day and thanks for watching today and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>